Alright guys, welcome back to another news flash episode. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Today we're gonna talk about the alleged animal activist group Vegan Rising. They just have been stripped of its charity status, Sky News Australia reported. Let's have a closer look at the video and we're gonna sum it up afterwards. Animal activist group Vegan Rising has been stripped of its charity status, the ACNC says. It's a last resort reserved for the most serious of cases. The defrocking means the group can no longer access Commonwealth charity concessions. Vegan Rising reportedly claimed the charity regulator told them veganism is not in the public interest. That's what they claimed. Headquarter in Melbourne, it was registered with the ACNC in September 2017, aimed at preventing or relieving the suffering of animals. The regulatory body revoked vegan rising status following an investigation which was finalized on Tuesday. There you can see it. Charity registration is revoked. That reminds me of Edward Gaunt. No, well, you can't register yeah. a restaurant as a charity, can you? Yeah. The ACNC must ensure the public knows when charities are not meeting their obligations. That sounds familiar. Here you have it. The ACNC website said Vegan Rising received $12,390 of income from donations and bequests. That is fairly little compared to the ripoff that Edward Gaunt caused. Vegan Rising was behind a peak hour protest in April, which forced the intersection of Swanson and Flinders Street in Melbourne to a standstill. Terrorists. To maintain charity status, a group has to meet the ACNC governance standards and report to the regulatory body each year. Secrecy provisions in the ACNC Act prevent the body from explaining why Vegan Rising was stripped of its charity status. All right, that's the video. So it is a mysterious case. Yet again, we do not really know why they've been stripped of their charity status. However, we can see that there is something fishy going on yet again. Did they report back? Did they account for what they do with the money? Probably not. Of course, we do not know. Everything is just a speculation. However, if we see previous cases, aka the mysterious case of Earthling Ed, we can see that those so-called animal activists are pick pocketing donations. Veganism has become one major money grab. Vulnerable people are donating to so-called animal rights activists. Those guys live a luxurious life. You can see right through them. Donations on multiple platforms. In reality, those animal rights activists don't do anything but disturb the peace. This is what you see. They're blocking intersections. They're demonstrating. They're trying to traumatize little children with slaughterhouse porn. This is all they do. The money is used for private expenses, living in penthouses, getting personal trainers like Joey Carpstrong. It is all very egoistic, very narcissistic. You see that those people have a messiah complex. In reality, they are not accomplishing anything. I salute Australia for their decision. They exposed yet again another fraud and they saved the money of vulnerable people. All right, guys, this is for this news flash episode. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Grassland Nutrition is a family company that produces 100% certified organic grass-fed liver without the taste. All their products are sourced from the Australian Channel Country, which covers a land space almost twice the size of Texas, where the cattle naturally grazes on over 250 native species of plants and watered by sustainable natural rainfall. Their mission is to provide you 100% certified organic premium source of organic organs for you. They truly live up to their name, Grassland Nutrition, because what you're getting is nutrition from pasture-raised cattle. This is real food and not a simple supplement. And the two products that I'm using right now is the grass-fed liver 
and the kelp extract. You have it in capsule form and you have it in regular powder as well. The regular powder has no added kelp. It is just organically sourced Australian grass-fed liver, which has been freeze-dried. So now I'm not here to tell you that supplements are better than real food. That will never be the case. The best case scenario for you is still to eat raw liver. But I do understand that people have issues sourcing properly grass-fed liver first and foremost, and many are grossed out by the taste and the consistency. Grassland nutrition spares you that trouble. It is convenient, it is easy, and it is just freeze-dried liver. There are no additives. Technically, this is not even a supplement. This is food. So if you look into the supplement facts here, you will see that only three grams of the grass-fed freeze-dried liver delivers you 111% of vitamin A. True vitamin A, not beta-carotene. Vitamin B12 is at 309%. When you're not a vegan, you don't have to worry. On top of that, it comes with folate, niacin, iron, and vitamin B2. So if this is something that you're interested in, the link is in the description box. And with code BOBBY10, you can save yourself some money off. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.